Hi, I'm Mary, a librarian and book reviewer with a focus on stories written for kids, tweens, and teens. Today, I get to share with you this book called Franco and the Green Light Fairy, written by Fiona Lowry and illustrated by Johanna Breuer. This is the story of a little boy named Franco who loves cars. He plays with cars in the morning, he plays with cars after school, he plays with cars right before going to bed. If he could, he would play with cars all the time. And his dream is to one day drive his very own red Ferrari. But one thing he really doesn't like is being stuck behind red lights when he's out driving with his mom. He hates having to stop. He loves having, he loves being able to go fast. But when those red lights come up, he wishes that there were a way to turn them to green. And then his mom introduces him to an interesting concept of the green light fairy. And if he asks her very nicely and works very hard, she might just change those street lights to green, just like he asks. This is a really charming and whimsical story about one of the possibilities of what might change a red light day to a green light day and how that might affect everything from there on. So the illustrations here are really cartoon-like and cheerful. Um, Franco's got big red cheeks as the story goes on and the colors of each page are really lovely as well. They give the feeling of uh, a little bit more of an imaginary setting for this little boy than the real world, maybe something that he would have imagined on his own. As you see here, there are different font sizes used throughout the book, so it does look like there's chunks of text, which is true, but the varied font, the large size of most of the words, and the fact that this book is shorter than most picture books make it accessible to younger readers as well, especially ones who are into cars and a little bit of magic. So as you go along here, you see he imagines being in the front of the car, helping to shift the gears with his mom, um, being able to have some more control over the cars that he loves so much, besides just the little toys that he gets to play with. And interestingly, he is riding on what in the US we would find as the driver's side, but in the UK is the left side of the car. So um, the passenger side is opposite from the US, which is a fun thing to kind of talk about with families if, uh, if you're not from the UK. So talking about why that's different. Um, and I love the soft lines of each of these pictures and this little bird who finds his way through here as well. There is a lot to look at in this book and a lot to discuss as far as the green light fairy and what she might also be able to bring if you ask the right way and do the right things. So this is a charming, whimsical tale about what might happen to turn streetlights from red to green and a really imaginative story for families to share together. If this sounds like a great fit for you, I hope you look for it at your favorite bookstore.